Hi, I'm Engineer Dan, and with me is CB, a wholesome cement bag and an expert builder and an engineer's best buddy. Hello there. We're here to tell you about building buildings. Okay, let's begin. Now, when you want to build something, what do you think you will need? Tools. Yes, tools. What else? Building materials. Correct. And what is the most important building material you'll need when constructing? Ta-da! Of course you're right, CB. Cement. Now, when... Uh, CB, buddy, what are you doing? Huh? Well, <clears throat> you see, Engineer Dan, I've always wondered how I'm made by Wholesome. I just want to know what makes us good quality cement. I see. Well, how Wholesome makes cement is just as interesting as learning about how to use it. Want me to tell you everything? That would be awesome! Okay, let's start from the beginning. But first, we have to wear the safety gear, hard hat, and safety boots. Is that where I come from? Well, part of you does. These land areas are quarrying sites. Those are big rocks. What are they? Limestone, the main ingredient for making cement. Huge dozers or traxcavators rip the rock sides. The first step is called raw material extraction. Hey, it's a dozer. Hello? Mr. Engineer Dan. Thought I could help you explain what we do at the quarry site. Great idea, Dozer. Lead on. Well, when mining, we carefully survey an area first. Then, using a controlled modern process, we quarry only what we need. This way, we maximize the resources and don't waste materials. But where do you bring the rocks next? Oh, that part I'll let Dump Truck tell you. Here he comes. Well, gotta get back to work. See you around. Thanks, Doser, for helping out. Let's ask Dump Truck your question, CD. Hey, Dump Truck, how are things? Yo, it's Dandy, engineer man. Well, same. Same these guys are as heavy as ever. More limestone. That's right, dude. Hey, you guys ready to be hauled to the crusher machine? Yep. Yeah, 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 it's cold in here. Oh, my food. Oh, the yeah. crusher machine? Uh-huh. That's where the huge limestone rocks are crushed to usable sizes to make cement. You've got to see it, CB. These dudes enjoy it. Let's go to the crusher machine. Great! The crush of evil go to the crush of evil go. I hold the man, Leo, the crush of evil go. This is the crusher machine, and this is where the second step, the raw material preparation, happens. In you go, guys. Whoopee! Bye! So long! See ya! From sizes of about 1.5 meters, the crusher machine crushes the limestone to about 30 to 100 millimeters. After being crushed, the limestone are transported by conveyor belts to the storage hall. Look, CB, it's all the ingredients we use to make cement coming this way. Ooh! I'd like to meet them! Guys, over here! I'd like you to meet my buddy, CB. First of all, CB, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Shell. Limestone here. It's all right. Ahem, and of no doubt, Silica here. Where have you guys come from? Well, Limestone and I have just come from pre-blending. Where they have been stacked the stockpiles to ensure reduced chemistry variability prior to proceeding to the raw mill. Huh? <laughs> All he's trying to say is that Limestone and I have come from a process that will allow us to mix better. Yeah, the pre-blending makes us better raw materials so we can cook better. Cook? What are you, boy, cooking? Let me try to explain. You see, CB, making cement is a lot like cooking. You tie your apron on, you pop your chef's hat up, then you get your bowl and you shake yourself around. You pop your four ingredients, mix them all around. That's what it's all about. Thank you, thank you. 
So that's how I'm made. Well, cooking is just part of the process. Almost the last step, actually. Because before that, we need to grind and dry the raw materials to make raw meal. From the storage hall, the rocks are poured into feed bins to the vertical roller or tube mills for grinding. From the raw mill, we enter the raw mill silos for homogenization. In other words, we are blended together to get just the right consistency. Yeah, then to the drying we go. Drying makes it easier for us to cook in a cooking oven. But before cooking, we need fuel to produce the correct flame. Fine coal, fuel oil, and natural gas can be used, but alternative fuel resources are preferred to preserve natural fuels. Let's walk over there, where the next step, the clinker production, burning and cooling okay, happens. Let's move on, but first, we've got to wear this protective suit. Why? You'll see. From the silos, our raw meal goes into the suspension preheaters to drive off remaining moisture and dissociation of carbon dioxide from carbonate. Computers are used to have precise calculation and monitoring of the right mix. Whoa! What's that? That's the kiln, our cooking oven. It's where the calcined hot meal or our ingredients goes in to get cooked. So this is why we're wearing the suit. It sure looks hot in there. Yep, it's about 1,350 to 1,450 degrees Celsius in temperature. And that's really hot. But it has to be for the raw meal to have a chemical reaction to produce a new mineral called clinker. What's clinker? I'll let Mr. Kiln tell you himself. Hello, Mr. Kiln! It's Dan, the engineer! <sighs> well, hello there, engineer Dan. And who is this? This is CB. I'm telling him how cement is made, and he wants to know what clinker is. Oh, well, clinker is the finished product of the cooked raw meal. It's... Oh, I finished cooking. You can meet Linker himself. Linker, come out here. <laughs> Gotta cool down, Mr. Kiln. Gotta cool down. Hot in there. How do you cool down, Mr. Clinker? Why, with fans, of course. Lots of fans. Well, in you go into the Clinker cooler, then. The burnt Clinker passes from the rotary kiln to the Clinker cooler where fresh air rapidly cools the clinker for a temperature of 1,300 degrees Celsius, the clinker is cooled to only a little over 100 degrees. What's that? That's a de-dusting bag filter. You see, CB, the entire process of cement making creates a lot of dust. So a continuous emission monitoring system, or CEMS, is applied. This way, we can be sure there's no pollution in the air. So everything is environment friendly? Yes. The manufacturing plants take care of the environment around them because it's part of acting responsibly and taking care of nature. Looks like Clinker is cooled now. Ah, that feels good. Well, see you around. Where is he going? To the Clinker silos for storage. Don't worry. Linker will be ready in no time for the next step. Ah, yes. The next step. Cement grinding. Well, we have to go now, Mr. Kiln. Thanks for the info. A pleasure, Engineer Dan. See you, CB. Thanks, Mr. Kiln. See you. Let's remove our suits first and put our safety gear on again. We're almost done making cement, but first, we need clinker again. Clinker, time to grind! Oh, ready? Where did he go? Into the roller press for crushing. The high pressure between two rotating rollers grind clinker into smaller sizes. After this, clinker mixes with gypsum before going into the cement mill. Is that the cement mill? Yup, that's also called a ball mill. That's where clinker is going next where steel balls will grind them finely into cement. But before storage in the cement silos, the ground product goes through a separator where the coarse cement is separated from the fine. 
They are now ready for packing and distributing. Cool! Pack takes place in specific pack houses done either manually or by automated packing machines. They are packed by the kilos or tons. Wow! Awesome! Uh-huh. The cement are then dispatched to distributors via trucks, sometimes cargo vessels or barges. Now I'm ready to be used to build buildings. Wow! So that's how I'm made. Yep, that's your story, all right. Can we go through the process again, Engineer Dan? I just want to make sure I got it right. Sure. Let's do a recap of how to make cement. Okay, where does it all start? The quarrying site where Dozer rips the rock sides for limestone. Right. This is where raw material extraction takes place. The limestone are then loaded and hauled by dump trucks to the crusher machine. Where the rocks are crushed into smaller pieces. Right again. And this starts the second step, the raw material preparation. The crushed materials are transported via conveyor belts into the storage hall. And oh, shale, limestone, silica and pyrite are poured into the feed bins and mixed together. Then, they go into the raw mill for drying and grinding to make the raw meal. I remember! You're good! From the raw mill, they are stored into the raw meal silos to be homogenized and stored. Then we come to the exciting part. Clinker production! Uh-huh. The raw meal goes into suspension free heaters, then into the rotary kiln for cooking at very high temperatures. Mr. Kiln and Clinker! Yes. The result of the cooking in the kiln is Clinker. And this is cooled in the Clinker cooler. <laughs> and after the cooler, Clinker goes straight into the Clinker silos because it sure was hot cooking. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, after storage, the clinker is crushed in the roller press and further ground in the cement mill with the gypsum and limestone. The fine cement is then stored in the cement silos, ready for packing and to be used. And the end product is me! <laughs> <laughs>